Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Edge 2.8 release Canada 1 drop, but you don't want to upgrade until you watch this video. You may well know that Edge 2.8 release candidate 1 just recently dropped and there's a big conversion underway that changes from the category system to the label system, but there's a little bit of a problem. The developers are aware of this, I know they're going to work on it and get it sorted out, but before you do the upgrade I wanted you to see what's going on so you don't get the upgrade installed on your radio and say what the heck just happened. Of course, all of this begins with starting with a backup. I say this every single time I do a video like this, make sure you do a backup of your SD card because if something goes wrong, it's real easy for you to back out. Okay, what I wanna show you is right here on the screen. On the left-hand side, I've got my models.yaml file open, and I, I just wanna point out one model in particular. We're gonna start out with my Edge 540. Notice the file name for that Edge 540 is model1.yaml. It's right here under the highlight, okay? So model1.yaml. That's my Edge 540. So here's the nature of the problem. On my radio, if I go to that Edge 540 and delete it, I'm just gonna delete it. Delete, delete model, and there we go. Edge 540 is gone. The problem is the radio didn't actually remove the file model.1yaml from the radio. It left it on the card. It simply took the entry out of the models.yaml file. I'm gonna show you that by bringing up the models.yaml file off of the radio itself. So I'm gonna close this. We'll connect the radio. Go into USB storage mode, and that'll bring up a window. And in that window, I'll get, grab the models.yaml file. So in the models folder, we're looking for models.yaml right here. This is the actual one off the radio. Notice that my Edge 540 is now gone. The first model listed now in the 3D category is model2.yaml. That's different from the file we just looked at. But if you go and look on the radio itself, you can see the model1.yaml file still exists. So we still have the Edge 540 file still on the card. The problem is that when we switch over to the label system in 2.8, the radio is going to scan all these file names in this folder and it's gonna add whatever it finds. So here's the next thing I'm gonna do just to kind of illustrate the point. I'm gonna bring up my models.yaml file and I'm gonna erase all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this entire category. Sport, Warbirds, Test Beaters are all gone. I'm gonna just get rid of them, they're gone. So I'll save that file, I'll unplug the radio, and when we look at the radio now, if I go into the model selector, you can see that I only have a few airplanes left. No categories anymore, just a few airplanes, okay? That's all I've got. It says six models on the radio. So now what we'll do is shut down the radio, go into bootloader mode, so I'm just gonna hit right firmware and scroll down to the 2.8 release candidate one, which is right here, and I'm gonna flash that. And after the firmware is written, we'll go back into Edge DX. Okay, firmware is done, so I'll hit return, then we'll hit exit, and the radio is going to boot up with Edge TX 2.8 with the new label system. And there we go, right off the bat, you see my Edge 540 is back from the grave. And if I long press the model button, that'll bring us into the labels model selector, and you can see I've got all kinds of stuff in this list now. I've got helicopters, albatrosses, hawks, uh, quads that I haven't had on this radio in quite some time. There's the Bighorn, that thing's been gone for a little while. The Cetus, some Chimeras, some duplicate Croc Babies, the Defiant, the Dragon. If you do this on a production radio, it can be a source of mass confusion. It may be very challenging to get the correct model back on your radio. So while I love the label system and I know the developers are gonna work on sorting this out, the thing you can do if you want to move to 2.8 release candidate one is to do an audit between your models.yaml file and the actual yaml files on your card if you synchronize those two you won't have any problem ultimately i expect the radio will handle this for us but if you don't clean up your models directory you're going to wind up with a lot of duplicates in there and that's going to make some people very unhappy i want to be clear about something guys there's a reason that they go through release candidate phases on development this is one of them it's to find these kinds of problems so that's why it's not a final version yet so don't get upset with the edge guys if you install and then all of a sudden have a bunch of duplicates on your production radio especially if you didn't do a backup because that's why we say do backups and that's why we say don't run release candidates on your production system all right that's all i've got for this video if you like this kind of content make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know new videos hit the channel that's all i've got for today take it easy Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon.
For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.